Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to make a gear machine again, but way slower. Way, way slower. So, hit J on your keyboard if you're on a computer. I don't know how you do it on tablet or phone or Xbox. So, once you've hit J, you'll be able to see over here on the left how you can change what block you're placing down. And we're going to use a normal block. So then you click the ground, see, and then now you'll have a block. And you want to go to the Z tool, and you'll see it over there, or you can click Z on your keyboard. And let me just show you that, for example, click off, and let me click on something else. And then now click Z, and then you'll see these yellow things pop up. And we're going to go over to the left, and change our increments. And you can change them to anything, but it's best to set them to... 0.0001 because it's really smooth and it lets you make really tiny stuff and it's best to also set your um, resizing tool to that so you can see my resizing tools already like that but I'll show you what hotkey hotkey means like a quick key to the tool so that's the X tool the X tool is the resizing tool so if you hit X on your keyboard let me go back to the Z tool which is the um, moving tool, and then hit X, which takes me to the resizing tool. As you can see here, I'm reshaping it. And then, if I go over here, I'll show you again this. You see, if I set my resizing to 5, it will make this, like, grow really fast. But we don't want that. We want it to be super tiny. So then, it's really smooth and easy. But now to the main part. And now that you've added your block to the game by using the J tool like this, bam, you want to take it to a nice location to build and resize it to be sort of flat, preferably with the both settings off. And let me go ahead and do that for myself here. So now I got my block all flattened down sort of even. So the next step is we're going to add another block. So click J again, and your tool should turn black, and just click the ground anywhere, and you should have a block like this again. Go ahead and drag it up onto your platform, and then rescale it with the X tool. And you can click the hotkey by hitting X on your keyboard, or you can click it over on um, the little box thing over here. Now we're going to rescale this block and make it super tiny. Like this. As you can see, it's super small now. And we're going to paint this thing green. Like I did last time. And now it's green. Which is pretty nice. And now we're going to add one more thing. So we're going to click J. And we're going to take our little thing here on the left, and we're going to go through here and add a cylinder. So click on cylinder over here, because you can open this thing and select stuff. Cylinder, and then click on the ground, and you'll get a sort of circular stick thing. And then you want to go over to your X tool, and shrink down this stick thing to be sort of small, but not yet big. So a little bit tinier than this. And then... You want to have it facing upward, like your Roblox person. And then you want to move it in by the green thing. And then we're going to paint it purple. You're probably wondering how you paint stuff. So, you hit V, or you go over to this little paint bucket and click on it. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to make this little stick a little bit taller. And this, this is a pretty good height. We might resize it later. Now we're going to scooch in the green block closer to it, and then we're going to copy. And how you copy is you hit Shift C, and you got to make sure you're clicked on the block when you copy. You can't just copy nothing. This, and how you click on something if you don't know how to click on something is you take your mouse and you hit click on left click on the thing. Now hit Shift and click on both green blocks you have and that will let you click on more than one thing at once 
and then hit Shift C, and then that should copy both of them. And then go to the C tool over here, which is the rotate tool. If you see my mouse, just follow my mouse all the way there, and you'll see this rotate tool, and then you'll see this little floating thing pop up. We're going to rotate it around this little green thing, and now you see how I got more of these blocks. Then we'll do it again, Shift C, and we'll rotate it again just one more time. Now you see I have a green circle down there. And we're actually going to copy that. So what you want to do is you want to hold shift and you want to click left click and drag and select. But you can see I accidentally selected everything. So just hold shift and click again on um, your platform and click again on the purple post. And now you only have the green ring selected. Then hit shift C and then click on the Z tool and pull that thing, uh, pull the green ring up. And now this thing is locked here. And next what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste this purple post. So we're gonna click on it and then hit Shift C. And then go to the C tool, which is the rotate tool, which can get a little bit confusing. And rotate it sideways in sort of a cross formation. Then we're gonna go to the X tool and on the left side here, in this little floating box, we're going to select both and make it bigger until we're a little bit far out from it. Then we're going to go Z tool and lower it down just a little bit to our character's chest. And then we're going to copy the big bar once. So Shift C, and then we're going to lift it up with the Z tool up to the maybe middle of the top. We're going to shrink it back down with both still turned on in our X tool or resizing tool. And then we're going to copy and paste it a few times, making sort of a wheel formation or wheel shape. But now you see we've got sort of a gear up there and we've got something to push it around. But before we get our machine going, we're going to make a copy of it because we're going to use it for another part of the machine. I got to check something here. Yeah. Okay. Then we just click shift, click right click, and drag. Not right click, left click. So you click shift, click left click, and drag. And you'll see this black box appear. And then let go, and you'll select everything. And then hit shift C and then use the Z tool to move the copy away from the main machine here and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit shift and select all the purple in this one like this so once again hit shift and select all the purple only in this one not in that one don't select that one and then go over to the F tool, which is this little chain thing. You can also get to it by hitting F on the keyboard. And go over to the left here and hit weld to last. And then go over to the M tool here, which looks like a little boat anchor. And unanchor. I... Ah, I forgot a piece. That's not good. There we go. So, now our little spinning machine works. But now what you can do with this, is you can go to your other machine that you saved as a backup, and you can slightly change it. So what we'll do with our second machine here, is we'll clip off this center post by clicking on it and hitting shift X, which deletes. And then we're going to also delete the base platform. And then we're gonna select all of it, once again by holding shift, left click. And then we're gonna lift it up into the air. And then we're going to rotate it with the C tool. Make it upside down here. Now what we gotta do 
is we gotta sort of pin it into these green things because otherwise it's just gonna fall right out. So we gotta select the green things and sort of slide them down. And how you do that is you hold shift, um, left click, and you just slide it down with the Z tool. Okay, that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a copy of the one of the green rings by holding shift C. And then you use the Z tool to move it like before. And then we're gonna make that smaller with the X tool. And just move it back a little bit so we don't get any shaking. Copy it one more time, Shift C. Put it sort of behind this wheel here. And then we're gonna hit Shift, left click, drag and select and we're going to slide this part of the machine in here and try and line up these wheels because this wheel here will power this wheel and then what we want to do is we want to copy this and save it just in case we want to do anything else so we hit shift c and use left click and move it then we go shift and we manually select everything that's purple. It's only the purple. And then we go over to the F tool and weld to last. And then go over to the M tool and unanchor. And then when you spin this, it will spin that. As you can see, this machine here is powering that machine there. And you can use this to power cars and trains. My timing. I can show you how to power a swing with it, but what I'm going to show you how to power with this thing is just a little spinning cup. Because I'm too lazy to show you how to make a mech bot or like a train. I might make a video on that. I don't know, but here. I will quickly attach a stick to this. So what I did is I just clicked on the stick, I hit shift C, and I dragged the copy over here, if you wanted to know. And then I'm gonna put the stick here. And I'm gonna click on the J tool, and then I'm selecting seat out of the blocks that you can add. I'm just gonna put a seat up here, like this. Just stick it on there. And then I'm gonna hit shift, click the purple stick that I added, but I'm mostly gonna select the original and go to the F tool and weld. And then go to the M tool and unanchor. And then when I go to spin it, it spins the little seat. So if you had a friend, your friend wanted to get up here and sit while you spun the machine, you could you could run it, or you could probably have two friends, you could say have a guy run this while you run that. And there's lots of things you could do with it. Like run doorways, gates, um, cart rides. And there's also ways to store energy, which I can show you here in a little bit because this video is getting long. So I'll show you in the next video of how to store energy with gears and poop and things. Mostly because I'm lazy. Okay, goodbye.